from the legendary achievements of Eddie Hall to the miracle in Mateusz Kieliszkowski's shed. Today I will show you 20 best and most impressive strength achievements in history. I have also chosen less obvious achievements, some positions may surprise you. Number 20. Smave's Record Pull-Up Andre Smave is on this list for a good reason, as there aren't many people who can pull up with any weight in the first place, let alone a weight that is heavier than them and one and a half times two. That's why out of this Russian's many crazy bar achievements, I decided to feature this one, pulling up with a 159 kilogram weight. Number 19, Ronnie Coleman and 1043 kilograms on a Smith machine. That day, everyone at the Metroflex gym had to quit their lifting because all the weights at the gym were taken by Ronnie to the Smith machine. With a load of 2300 pounds, he did 8 reps while shooting one of the most spectacular workout videos in the history of bodybuilding. Number 18. Iron Bybee's World Records The year 2021 could certainly be considered a good one by Chick Sanu, better known as Iron Bybee. He was able to accomplish something that seemed impossible, as in he broke the world record in bar press belonging to Zydruna Savitskas by pressing 229 kilograms overhead. In 2023, he broke that record by another kilogram when he lifted 230. On top of that, he also added a record in axle press, beating Eddie Hall's 216 kilogram achievement by one kilogram. Number 17, Bill Kazmaier's Domination. During the 1981 World Championship, Kaz put all his opponents in their places and at every opportunity, not only did he try to beat them but also leave no place for doubt about who was the best. Which was why when his competitors accused him during the deadlift of cheating by not blocking the weights at the end of the competition, the American did just that. That way, all while embarrassing his opponents, Bill secured a win for himself with a score of 428 kilograms on his way for the second title of the strongest man in the world. Number 16. Hafthor Bjornsson's 474 kilograms in deadlift. The Icelander's achievement is the heaviest deadlift in history done without a suit, and it took place during Arnold 2019 and was only the second of the three barbell tries because after that the mythical 501 kilograms were put on the barbell. This attempt sadly was actually failed by Hafthor. Number 15. Naim Sulimanoglu's domination of many years. The Pocket Hercules, as the Turk was called back in the day, earned his nickname due to his small stature, as he only measured 147 centimeters in height, but also because of the unimaginably large weights he would lift and hold above his head. As a result, he finished his career as a three-time Olympic champion, five-time world champion, and multiple-time world record holder. As Hercules' single most impressive pickup, I'd like to feature his record 190 kilogram barbell lift, which constituted more than three times the athlete's own weight. Number 14, Brian Shaw and the heaviest yoke walk in history. There's a good reason why Arnold's Strongman Classic is called the most difficult and the heaviest athletic event. In 2017, the host decided to already squeeze the absolute maximum out of the strongmen in the first competition and constructed a yoke weighing 1565 pounds, which equals way above 700 kilograms. Plenty of participants had a hard time completing the distance, or they would finish it in sections. This principle, however, didn't apply to the four-time world champion, Brian Shaw, who completed the designated length in a little less than 14 seconds, not stopping even once. Number 13. Kirk Karwaski. I wanna hold it. Karwaski is probably the best sitting power lifter of up to 125 kilograms in history. He is a multiple time champion of the IPF and USPF federations, and he went down in history as one of the best power lifters in the world. On top of the 455 kilograms that he achieved during the competitions, Karwaski sat with 800 pounds, 363 kilograms, five times without equipment at a body weight below the target, which some people consider to be the best series in history. In this ranking, however, I decided to include 1,000 pounds times two, or 454 kilograms and his famous I Wanna Hold It, which became one of the most popular workout videos of the golden era of powerlifting. Number 12, Tom Stoltman's Record Stone. The popular albatross is nicknamed the King of Stones for a good reason, because he has been proving for many years now that no one can match him in this competition. A sort of a cherry on the top here was lifting the heaviest stone in history over the bar, which weighed whole 286 kilograms. Stoltman has already tried with a 300 kilogram stone, but he was prevented by an injury. Either way, this record is not likely to last forever. Number 11. 
one hand lift. Once again, the hosts of Arnold are involved in an achievement on my list, as it was them who decided to recreate a nearly 115 kilo barbell that had been lifted by the Olympic champion, Charles Rigolo. An attempt with the replica was made by Mikhail Koklaev, a strongman and weightlifter, but it was unfortunately unsuccessful. With a regular barbell, 101 kilograms were lifted by Dmitry Klokov. There are significant differences visible, however, in the technique of the modern lifters and that of Rigolo, who likely specialized himself in this specific lifting variant. Maybe if the same had been done by Klokov and Koklaev, this record would have been broken. Number 10. Julius Maddox's Record Press The top 10 of my ranking is opened by Julius Maddox, who has been absolutely unmatched for the last few years in bench press. He is on his personal mission to become the first man who pressed 800 pounds, which is nearly 363 kilograms. So far, his best press was in 2019, with a barbell that weighed 355 kilograms. Number 9. J.F. Karen and Hummer Tire Deadlift the first edition of Shaw Classic brought reanimation of a barbell with Hummer tires after nearly 10 years, back when this competition was included in the Arnold. The previous record of 524 kilograms by Zedruna Savikas was, for all intents and purposes, a warm-up weight both for Jerry Pritchett and the winner of this competition, Jean-Francois Corona, who finally lifted whole 545 kilograms. The record lift itself, as well as the entire competition, is in my opinion one of the best strongman events in history. The atmosphere at the Brian Hall during the clash between these two strongmen naturally elevates the blood testosterone level. Number 8. Valentin de Kool and the most impressive total in history. Valentin de Kool is probably the least obvious name on this whole list, as he is not a strongman, weightlifter or powerlifter, but instead a circus performer mainly known for juggling huge kettles. I don't know the behind the scenes of doing powerlifting competitions, as there is very little known about de Kool overall, and the entire available knowledge about him is in Russian. Either way, 450 kilograms in squat, 260 kilograms on the bench and 460 in lift, that is something that cannot be left ignored. Unfortunately though, the only evidence of the weights lifted in this video being authentic are his own words and the soft weightlifting barbell swaying in all directions. If all these weights were to be lifted during a competition, I would put this feat in the first place without hesitation. Number 7. Half a ton in a lift. Each of us certainly has their favorite among these two guys, I mean Eddie Hall, who was the first to lift half a ton, breaking the previous record by whole 35 kilograms, and Haftor Bjornsson, who improved this score by 1 kilogram. I will leave it to you and to the guys themselves to settle which feat was more impressive, because after all, that's the main bone of contention that brought both strongmen on the ring. I will just add that it is not the highest ranked deadlift on this list. Number 6. Polish-Ukrainian Monopoly on Records in One Hand Dumbbell Lift Over the last few years, Mateusz Kiliszkowski was unmatched when it comes to this competition, as he has pressing a 150kg dumbbell at Summer Mania and a 145kg Louis Sear barbell at Arnold to his name. However, a new dominator in this competition arrived on the horizon who was undefeated during Mateusz's absence due to injury. Oleksii Novikov, because we're talking about him, broke the Polish man's record by 3 kilograms, but he did it during a workout. Which is why we are waiting eagerly for the closest opportunity for the both guys to face each other. Let's just hope it doesn't take place on a ring, as was the case with the last two. Number 5. Eddie's 472.5 kilograms during WSM 2017. As I mentioned before, there are lifts in this world better than 501 kilograms. One of them, in my opinion, is Beast's feet during WSM 2017, which he also won, when he lifted 472.5 kilograms with the speed of light and incredible ease. And that was after getting through the qualification and the first three competitions of the entire event, not to mention under the scorching sun of Botswana. All these factors contribute to my belief that this lift is more impressive than 500 or 501 kilograms, but not the most impressive either. Number 4. Zydruna Saviskas and the absolute domination in overhead lift. All the competitions related to pressing, be it reps on a platform, axle or bar, that took place during more than a dozen golden years in the Lithuanian's career could be easily bet in his favor, which is confirmed by the fact that all the bar world records belong to him for more than 15 years. 
The most impressive feat in my view, however, is pressing the 205kg Austrian oak bar during the Arnold. Whereas most of participants were not able to make a single rep with this colossal bar, Savitskas did four of them while completely relaxed, and it was only the fact that he had absolutely no pressure from his competitors that prevented him from pressing more. Who knows what a big weight could be lifted in the air that day if this competition was to be done to the max. Number 3. Benny Magnuson and the heaviest raw lift in history. Plenty of you may probably consider this decision to be controversial, but it is actually Benny's lift that is highest in my ranking among all the others. It is not just about the record itself, but also about the Icelander's absolute lack of respect for the barbell of such weight. The zero fuss approach, the speed of lifting, the smile during the lockout and the calm when lowering the barbell all helped Magnussen not only break the world record but also make it into his toy. Number 2. Lasha Talakadze's 492 kilograms in Olympic weightlifting. What is there to say? The Georgian has been completely untouchable on the podium for almost a decade now and he's a testimony to how far the human abilities reach. Lasha's latest achievement is the 2021 World Championship, topped with the heaviest snatch in history, 225 kilo and the heaviest clean and jerk in history, 267 which make up the heaviest total in history, 492 kilograms. The Georgian's goal is 500 kilograms and I don't think anyone has any doubts that if there's anyone in the world capable of doing this, it is actually Talakadze. Number 1. The Miracle in Mateusz Kieliszkowski's Shed it is certainly not an obvious choice, as the accomplishment that took the first place in my ranking didn't take place during a high-level competition like Arnold, WSM or any other federation. This took place in a small town somewhere in Poland, when young Mateusz, back then weighting much less than today's 150 kilograms, was preparing for the Arnold Finals, where one of the competitions was lifting a 190 kilogram stone on the shoulders as many times as possible. For that purpose, together with his brother, he went to the nearby forest to look for workout equipment. At first, it seemed that the stone was so absurdly heavy that surely nobody would be able to do a full rep. Mateusz Kieliszkowski had a different opinion on the matter though, as after a long struggle with the rock that weighted 217 kilograms, he was able to complete the task. It is in my view the most impressive single strength accomplishment in history, as I believe that no one will ever be able to get even close to the Polish man's accomplishment unless he himself chooses to. Let the evidence of that be his participation in Arnold 2019, where he did 5 reps with a smaller rock, one more than the other 9 contestants combined. Lifting extreme weights is naturally tied to extreme sacrifices and inconveniences in basically every aspect of one's life. In the suggested video, I discuss how unhealthy it is to be a strongman. 